एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बार हमायों से बबासी फर्स्ट लेट्स लुक इन टू दाइन्स The federal cabinet at its meeting in Islamabad today decided to relax visa policy for Afghan nationals. Foreign minister has expressed Pakistan's desire for peace and stability in Afghanistan. Pakistan has strongly condemned unabated extrajudicial killings of innocent Kashmiris in fake encounters by Indian occupation forces in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. China has asked the United States to immediately withdraw wrong decisions and stop interfering in Beijing's internal affairs. And the second T20 match between Pakistan and West Indies in progress in Karachi. Now the news in detail. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain says Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar and Minister for Defence Production Zubaida Jalal will visit Gwadar to sort out the issue of fishermen protesting there. He was briefing media about the decisions taken in the meeting of federal cabinet held in Islamabad today with Prime Minister Imran Khan and the chair. The Information Minister said Prime Minister has already taken notice of matter and directed for stern action in this regard. He said a 700 billion rupees development package has been announced by federal government for Sadrin Balochistan about electronic voting machine Chaudhry Fawad said Ministry of Science and Technology is ready to provide EVM to the Election Commission of Pakistan. He said all political parties should play their positive role on the issue of electronic voting machine. He said Election Commission of Pakistan should now issue tenders for electronic voting machines. The information minister said federal cabinet has decided to relax visa policy for foreign nationals. He said prices of essential food items are low in Pakistan as compared to other countries of the region. President Dr. Arif Alvi has stressed the need to preserve archaeological sites for the promotion of tourism in the country he stated this during the visit of a picture wall of and royal kitchen of lahore fort today admiring the complex and intricate works of the mughal era president arfal we appreciated the authorities concern in preserving the important part of muslim history later addressing the 16th convocation of lahore college for women university in lahore today he said education plays a pivotal role in the development of nations The president asked students to get professional education and training while utilizing modern technology. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says that Pakistan has undertaken many steps to build and strengthen robust systems for accountability, transparency and integrity. This he stated in his video message at the ninth session of the Conference of States Parties to the United Nations Convention Against Corruption and Sharmile Sheikh in Egypt. The foreign minister mentioned Pakistan has supplemented existing legislation to induce transparency and openness in the public sector including facilitating citizens right to information. He urged the national community to effectively address challenges of corruption to ensure a better future for people across the globe. The foreign minister also highlighted the evidence existence of financial safe havens which thwarted the efforts to hold the corrupt accountable. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says Pakistan is hosting an extraordinary session of OIC on Sunday to mobilize support for providing adequate food, medicine and housing to millions of Afghans in dire distress. Speaking at Magla Dialogue in Islamabad today, he warned that a dire humanitarian crisis looming in Afghanistan has consequences for the region and beyond. Foreign Minister said we desire peace and stability in Afghanistan. However, he warned against the spoilers saying they want instability and anarchy in Afghanistan. Referring to the Indian atrocities in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Foreign Minister said it is responsibility of the United Nations and international community to hold India accountable for this unconscionable state of affairs. He said India must realize that without resolving Kashmir dispute, we cannot free people or peoples of the South Asia from perennial instability. He said in line with Prime Minister Imran Khan's vision for a shift from geopolitics to geoeconomics we want a relationship with US that is in sync with our changed priority Shamud Qureshi said that Pakistan Russia relations are contributing to stability in the region and we will continue to strengthen them Seven trucks loaded with medicine blankets and edible items were handed over to Afghan authorities at Turkhan border today 
Additional Assistant Commissioner Landi Kotal Ashrafuddin handed over the trucks. Afghan authorities thank Pakistan for providing the assistance of Afghan brethren. This is Radio Pakistan. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhary Fawad Hussain says the current age is an era of narratives and information has a pivotal role in this scenario. Addressing a ceremony in Islamabad today, he said wars in the past were fought for plundering but war morality has changed now. The Minister of Information said India has been using digital warfare through means of communication, especially social media, for anti-Pakistan propaganda across the world. He said propaganda-based narratives are used as mode of warfare to economically paralyze countries. Pakistan has strongly condemned unabated extrajudicial killings of innocent Kashmiris in fake encounters and staged cordon and search operations by Indian occupation forces in Indian legally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In a statement, Foreign Office spokesperson Asim Iftikhar said two Kashmiri were martyred in a fake encounter in Srinagar by Indian occupation forces yesterday. He said resulting from an underlying killing spree and egregious violations of human rights and international humanitarian law in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. 19 innocent Kashmiris were martyred with impunity by Indian occupation forces in the last one month alone. The spokesperson called upon the national community, including the United Nations, to take immediate cognizance of worsening human rights situation in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and help them in their just and legitimate struggle for the right to self determination. In Indian legally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one more Kashmiri youth in a fake encounter in Poonch district, raising the toll to three in the territory since yesterday. The all parties who had conference spokesman in a statement in Srinagar denounced the brazen military operations by brutal Indian forces against the freedom loving people of Kashmir. He said the unabated killing spree in the occupied territory has brought the entire South Asia to the brink of a nuclear collusion. Senior Hurit leader Professor Abdul Ghani Bhatt in a statement called upon Pakistan and India to resolve the Kashmir dispute through a sustained and result-oriented dialogue process. He warned that the association of three nuclear powers Pakistan, India and China with the Kashmir dispute has turned the issue a threat to global peace. China has warned the United States that it would strike back in response to reckless sanction against Chinese individuals and entities. Talk to media in Beijing. Foreign Minister Spokesperson Wang Wenbin, while denouncing the decision of the U.S. to immediately withdraw wrong decision and stop interfering in China's internal affairs. Earlier, the United States imposed sweeping human rights-related sanctions against Chinese individuals and entities. Russia has defended its move to veto a Security Council resolution linking climate change and global security that was supported by a majority of U.N. member states. The draft resolution called on UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres to integrate climate-related security risks as a central component into comprehensive conflict prevention strategies. The text won support from 12 of the Council's 15 members. In the second G20 of three match series against West Indies in Karachi, Pakistan were 3 for 9 in one over a shot while ago. Pakistan is leading the series 1-0. And finally, the weather report. Cold and dry weather expected in most parts, while cloudy in upper parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, light rain and snowfall is expected in upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Gilgil Baltistan and adjoining hilly areas, smoke and fog is likely to prevail in plain areas of Punjab during morning. Once again, we'll look into the main headlines. The federal cabinet at its meeting in Islamabad today decided to relax visa policy for Afghan nationals. Foreign Minister has expressed Pakistan's desire for peace and stability in Afghanistan. Pakistan has strongly condemned unabated extrajudicial killings of innocent Kashmiris and fake encounters by Indian occupation forces and Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. China has asked the United States to immediately withdraw wrong decisions and stop interfering in Beijing's internal affairs. And the second G20 match between Pakistan and West Indies is in progress in Karachi. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, you can always log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. You can also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash radio Pakistan news official.